Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how the Tiangong Space Station suffers power loss from a space debris strike. China's Tiangong Space Station reportedly suffered a partial loss of power due to a space debris strike, state media reported. The incident took place during one of the spacewalks by astronauts of the Shenzhou 17 mission. The space station, operated by China Manned Space Agency, or CMSA, suffered a partial but minor loss of power supply after the outpost's solar panels were damaged by space debris. Even after experiencing glitches in the space station, spacewalks were a success, said CMSA in a press conference. The agency will look forward to guarding the space station from future space debris-related mishaps, reported Chinese state media. The space station's core module Tianhe had suffered a partial loss of power supply due to the impact of the space debris on the solar wing's power cables, Xinhua News Agency reported, paraphrasing CMSA Deputy Director Lin Sikiang. Though Xinhua did not specify if the debris was from micrometeoroids or from human-made structures in space, both pose threats to permanently crewed space stations like Tiangong and the International Space Station, or ISS. Many reports by NASA show that human-generated orbital space debris is growing and would be the next biggest challenge for space companies. The North American Aerospace Defense Command tracks more than 43,000 overall space objects, according to Spacetrack. There are more than 7,500 active satellites in space right now, as per the Union for Concerned Scientists, most of them which are part of SpaceX's giant Starlink network. Removing space debris is a difficult task. Instead, ISS controllers had to remove the space station out of the way of the debris. This is not an easy task either, as the guidelines for doing this are strict. A maneuver is mandated if any debris arrives in a pizza box, roughly 2.5 miles by 30 miles by 30 miles, with the ISS at the center, according to agency officials. With the help of NORAD, the ISS controllers have done this more than 30 times since its first modules launched in 1998. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come.